back. Who said who says coffee don't make seeds, Eric? Who says coffee don't make seeds, Eric? Shitty life, shitty life, shitty life. Uh, everybody tags so high too, tags so high up in here, and yeah, this is um how we do it. I know I've been slacking, but today's Sunday. I'm trying to get trying to get everything done and kind of just inspecting shit before I get the fuck out of here and then go go enjoy the fucking pool. But this is next week's drops. This is where your full lines come from. Each number is the tent and the pheno. Okay, so that's tent number nine, pheno number three, tent number nine, pheno number nine, and so on and so forth. Nine five, seven nine, eight nine, eight seven, eight five, eight four, nine eleven. All right, so mainly right here is tents number seven, eight, and nine. Okay. And then all the weed that co corresponds with it. All right. So these are the buds I end up taking pictures of. All right. So I'm saying so this is six, seven. All right. And then all these numbers are written down in my notepad. Telling me what's in tent number six and plant number seven. So nobody knows the identity of my strains besides me. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> and yeah, I mean, I went over this a million, million times. Um, but yeah, I haven't been showing as much because, you know, I've been traveling and doing my things. What's this? This is 510... All right, so all these got to go for photography. All right. And all these buds are fully seeded, obviously. All right, so yeah, that's what you're looking at. And yeah, this is just, um, this is three drops. This is about 10 days worth, you know, uh, doing two drops per week, running 16 tents plus the overflow, the two lighter overflow. So that's about 17 breeding locations that I use. And yeah, like I said a million times, niggas cannot fuck with it, you heard? I don't give a fuck, listen, I don't care if you're the biggest breeder, the smallest breeder, the fucking newest breeder, the oldest breeder. It doesn't matter, there is nobody putting out more fire day after day than me. That's just the, that's just the end of the story, bro. Nobody does this and nobody will show you just this amount in a year's work and this is legit a week. This is a week. This ain't no fucking, and I got a whole fucking box next to me that I can't even fit on my table. You know what I'm saying? And as you see, you know, every single fucking strain is what it is, all different, not just bags of the same ass weed. You see the shit, not just bags of the same ass bullshit seeds. You can see those seeds don't look like those seeds. They don't look though like those. They don't look like those. See, every fucking thing is done exactly proper. Look at those seeds. Those look fucking beautiful. Seven, nine. See what I'm saying? Look at those compared to those. Compared to these. Compared to that. Compared to this. See what I'm saying? All right. So I get it. I get it. Niggas be hating. I get it. I understand. You know what I'm saying? I understand why the haters be hating, but it doesn't take away from the amount of work I put in day after day 
week after week, year after year, decade after decade. I, I, I am on my 31st year of breeding cannabis. This ain't a fucking joke. This ain't, this ain't a game. This ain't some story I just told. 1992 was when I made my first seeds. Here we are today, crushing the game. Okay? This ain't brand new. This ain't brand new. This is what we do. This is business, dog. This is business. You know what I mean? This is why there is no competition, dog. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? There's no competition. Now, I get it. Guys like Riot, fucking Masonic, fucking this one, Exotic Mike, fucking Ivan from the Jungle Boys. Everybody wants to talk shit and think they're the man. Listen, dog, it doesn't matter. I don't got to talk shit. I'm down to talk shit. Don't get me wrong. I'll talk shit all fucking day and night. But my work is why I'm here today. Not because I fucking run my mouth or tell stories about the uh, the original OG Kush. These niggas still talking about fucking where OG Kush came from. Nobody cares, dog. Get on the grind. Put out some fucking fire. Put out some fire. Stop worrying about fucking what the fuck the history of cannabis was when you wasn't even there. You're worrying about what you read in a forum, bro. Nobody cares. This is what it's about. Put the fucking work in, dog. Put the fucking work in. I mean, that's all it is, dog. We could do this shit all day, every day. And I get it that I've been showing less and I haven't been around as much because, you know, it's fucking summertime and I'm trying to enjoy life and fucking, you know, actually enjoy all the shit I fucking worked for to achieve. I get it. But don't think the fucking ro the rodeo stops, bro. The fire don't stop, bro. I built it to make sure the schedule stays pumping, dog. That's it. I know I fucking, you know, my posts are always about who is or fancy shit, fucking new cars, new watches, new houses, whatever the fuck I'm doing. But the, the fact of the matter is, is I put out more fire than any, as a matter of fact, I put more fire out than all the breeders put together. Put them all together and these niggas can't fuck with this. Look at what you're staring at for a couple of days. This is legit eight or nine days. This is a week and maybe a half, all right? This is just three drops, no big deal, and some are sitting in the box that I can't even spread, so this ain't even the full fucking show. This ain't even the full show. This is just some handfuls of shit I threw on the fucking table to let you motherfuckers see how we get it. And this ain't the first time I've done this. Obviously, a lot of you guys been here before. You guys know I fucking show shit all the time. It is what it is. But, dog, I get busy, and obviously, it's already noon and I got to get the fuck home. I don't got time to be fucking showing shit. I try to get my work done, make sure everybody's doing their job, and get the fuck out of here. I don't got time to be sitting here and talking shit and showing all the fire and all this. But I get it. You guys want to see it. So here I am. So if you got questions, put them in the question mark box. I'll answer a few questions. If you got questions pertaining to what the fuck's going on and what we're showing... If you're asking about what strain is what, don't bother because these are all written in my notepad. And as the releases come this week, the next week's drops, you'll know what they are. And then the same thing with the master list. So this is how the master list is created because tent seven was hit with one reversal. So obviously I have a whole bunch of fucking different varieties hit to that reversal. Here's all the fucking seeds. It's as simple as that. It don't get any easier. This is how I do it. This is how I do it. I don't know what other motherfuckers be doing, but whatever they're doing isn't fucking proper. You know what I mean? It ain't. It ain't. It's all bullshit and lies. Why? Because they can't come on live and show you exactly what they fucking did. They can't show you the fucking seeds and the fucking weed and the grow rooms and every other fucking thing all day, any day. I do. I do. I show you motherfuckers every step of the fucking way. Yet niggas still be out there talking shit. There's all no flowers. There's this, there's that. There's a herm. Listen, dog. When you produce this many amounts of fucking seeds on a weekly basis, there's going to be shit going on. It don't matter. The amount of fire we put out is unstoppable. So if you want to go fucking get shit from Exotic Mike, go ahead, nigga. Herms. He got herms. Everybody does. No big deal. I'll tell you one thing he don't got is this type of fire. That's that. I'll tell you right now, the motherfucker don't get this. Why? Because I grow his shit, nigga. What are you, crazy? I grow his shit. The niggas don't got this. That's it. 
It ain't a fucking game. This is real life, dog. If niggas had better weed, I'd be fucking showing it. That's the bottom line. I ain't scared. I ain't scared to tell you this is Exotic Mike's new fucking shit or whatever the fuck. Why would I be scared? I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Jungle Boy's got the new fire. It's right on the table. Doesn't matter where it came from. I don't give a fuck. Never have. Never have. I don't gonna make up stories, bro. There's no time for stories. It's only time to work. You put in the work and you got the fire. That's it. That's it. You know, now everybody that signed up for the email list <clears throat> already knows what's going on this week. As far as new uh, Big Dan shit, there's a big uh, big drop. You can see so high. He's got the new drop of Big Dan shit, regular seeds. All right. I'm going to fucking post on the story what the new drop is. All right. I'm not going to tell you motherfuckers because I don't want you hitting me up. So high. He's got about 200 of the Big Dan boxes. All right, and you're only going to be able to get them from him um, for this week until until I get them packaged for myself and have them featured on the site and shit. But he got first dibs on the Big Dan, and he's got a whole fucking bunch of them of the new crosses, all regular. Everything you're staring at on this table is all feminized. This is all copycat shit. This is all feminized. Every single fucking pack, every single fucking bud, all feminized S1s and R1s. Yeah, dude, it's all fire. Every every fucking thing is fire. The, it don't get worked with if it's not the absolute best weed on the planet. I mean, this is day after day. There is no chance of seeing anything that isn't the most fire weed on the planet. There's not even a question. It's not even a question. And to the motherfuckers that run into problems, dog, listen, problems, whatever. Pop fucking seeds, dog. Stop worrying about that shit. You know what I'm saying? Stop worrying about the bullshit and stop growing fucking seeds. You know what I mean? What do we got? Nothing better, bro. There is nothing better. I'm trying to tell you, if there was better weed, I'd be fucking, it would be on the table. There is no better weed. There is no better, bro. Doesn't matter what the motherfuckers be telling you out there. And I get it. I get it, dog. Niggas be hating and they be making up stories. And this one and that one bought a fake pack and he's got a fucking bunch of males out of a feminized pack. Yo, those ain't legit packs, dog. Get your shit together and get legit shit. Stop running around and buying shit at weird fucking from weird people for fucking $30 a pack. The shit isn't $30 a pack, dog. Look at those. See? And then it always goes back to, like, different seeds look different, bro. Those are, like, black with perfect tiger stripes. Those don't even have tiger stripes. You know what I mean? That doesn't mean that's a better strain than those. These might be the fucking better strain. You don't know what the seeds contain. The seeds are just a shell to contain and carry genetics, bro. It doesn't matter if they're pretty seeds or fucking ugly seeds. All right? They could be ugly seeds and fucking contain better genetics or a better genetic potential than the prettiest seeds. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what the fucking seeds look like. Okay? As you see, look, this got some black ones in there too. Now, and look, so this is the same strain... Right, same pheno, and some are gray, some are black, super tiger striped. That's not mixed seeds. That's one fucking strain. Why would we mix the seeds? Why would we mix the seeds? Seven six is right here. That's seven five. That's seven ten. That's seven seven. Why would we mix them? We wouldn't. <laughs> Wake the fuck up. We would never mix seeds, dog. That just this bag right here is enough for fucking who knows, thousand packs. You know what I mean? We ain't gonna sell a thousand packs of seven five, bro. This ain't going to happen. That's a R1. Who knows what the fuck it is. But we ain't selling all those fucking seeds. Not in 10 years, bro. In 10 years, I'll still have seeds of these. Why? Because look at all the seeds we have. That's why. So one strain is not going to sell 10,000 packs of seeds, bro. 
It's not. It's not. Look at this bag of seeds, bro. Look at this bag of seeds. We're never going to sell all those seeds. That's why I never fucking run out of seeds. And if something's super hyped up, then I'll fucking put more, more plants. This is all just from one plant in a tent. So I'll just put more plants in the same tent and then have a few of these bags. And we ain't never selling out. Something popular like Ronch, Mac One, Mr. Big Stuff. That's it. You ain't never selling all these seeds, bro. Never. Not when you got this type of variety. If all I had was this, you know, like the, how the other motherfuckers do it, the, all they'll have is this, right? And then they'll rename their seeds when they don't sell. That's what they do. They'll fucking put these same seeds in a whole bunch of different packs and fucking sell them all to you. All with different names. All the same seeds. Look at me. I don't do that shit. And I know a lot of you motherfuckers think I just make this shit up. Like, oh, this nigga is just, this nigga just renaming old seeds. Nigga, I don't gotta rename old seeds. I stay making way too many seeds, dog. I don't give a fuck about making seeds. Making seeds is so easy, dog. For me and my schedule, I put out more fucking new strains than all the breeders combined in a year. Them motherfuckers will take a year for me to put out just this many. Just this, just, just this. All the breeders won't do this many drops in a whole fucking year. We'll do that in this week. We'll do it this week, dog. That's real shit. So I don't got to play the games these niggas be playing. Because to me, having all these on backup is a good thing. Because if shit ever fucking goes bad, I got all the backup to all my original creations locked down for decades. I still put, dude, I still pull seeds out from the fucking 90s, bro. I don't got to play the games these other niggas be playing. You know what I'm saying? I grow all these seeds. You what? Like, listen, the other thing when motherfuckers say test, where do you think my genetics come from? I do 300 seed pheno hunt every fucking 56 days, dog. Every 56 days. Where do my new strains come from? Go to the website and see all my new original creations. They're all from my seeds that I sprout. That's why I laugh at you motherfuckers when you tell me about bullshit problems. I grow all my shit. Now, don't get me wrong. Some of these R1s won't get grown. They won't. Why? Because I can only grow so many fucking strains. All right? So not every one of these motherfuckers is going to be grown. But the ones I choose are being grown left and right every fucking day, day after day, bro. Of course I grow my own shit. If I didn't grow my own shit, I wouldn't be in the game. I grow all my own shit. Where do you think the fire as shit comes from is copy originals. Copy Originals is the most popular and most fire strains like Dr. Sleep, Mr. Big Stuff, Dr. Big Sleep. All my originals are the bangers that make high times. Not the fucking shit from Cookie Fam. Not the S1s from Cookie Fam. Very rarely does that shit even catch hype. My shit catches hype because my shit is selected through a fucking crazy process of fire on top of fire on top of fire. That's how it is, dog. That's how it is. We all know that. It's just the dick riders that be riding fucking sea junkies dick that thinks his shit's better. His shit ain't better. We grow all this shit, dog. We grow all this shit. His shit ain't better. Are you fucking nuts? If shit, if his shit was better, all you would see here is sea junkie S1s. That's all you would see. That's it. What the fuck I got to care? I don't care. If the shit's better, I'm fucking putting it out. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> and that that's those are the facts. Nobody grows the shit I just mentioned. What? D nobody grows Dr. Sleep, bro? It's been on the cover of High Times. What are you crazy? <laughs> what, are you, what rock are you hiding under, dog? What rock are you hiding under? Nobody grows that shit. Right, go back to your auto flower forum, dude. Let me know how that works out for you. <laughs> you fucking idiot. What is wrong with you? Nobody grows this shit, right, dog? Nobody grows this shit, right? I made $68 million in 2021. Nobody grows copycat seeds, right? Nobody. $68 million in 2021. That's the numbers I did. I don't know what the fuck, I don't know what the fuck your, your favorite breed is doing. Well, I'll tell you one thing. I'll tell you one thing. The nigga didn't even do 100K a year. That is 68 fucking million. Are you fucking crazy, bro? <laughs>
I fucking, I go on $100,000 vacations, bro. I book $30,000 a night fucking rooms. I drive Maybachs. You know what I mean? What is wrong with you? Wake the fuck up. I'm in a fucking $5 million fucking facility. The fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? Wake the fuck up, dog. Wake the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? That's all you got to do is wake the fuck up. And I, you know, like, listen, everybody knows I show all my shit and I get it. You hate and you think, you know, oh, he works for Uber. He he lives in his mom's basement. Nigga, none of that shit means nothing to me. None, nothing of what a motherfucker thinks about me matters, bro. Because I put in the work. I put in the work, dog. You know what I mean? And that's all that matters to me is me staying consistent and me being committed in any industry, whatever it is. If like right now we're talking about cannabis and seeds. So that's what we're talking about. And as far as being the best there is, I have accomplished that and stayed at the top of the fucking food chain the entire time. It's not something new. And it's not something that we're, oh, I fell off and then started slacking and not doing what I'm supposed to do. No, nah, dog. I've been here on the top and staying on the top consistently for the whole time. For the whole fucking time, bro. That's not easy to do. A lot of people will do a drop and they'll get fucking a little bit of fucking clout and then fall right off. Look at, look at Capilator. He made Mac 1. Hasn't made nothing good since. Look at Jungle Boys. They put out their first drop. After that, nobody even cares. Nobody even wants to grow their shit. Look at Cookies. They did a few few drops. Then they dropped Candy Rain. And their shit all went fucking flopped. You know what I'm saying? All of them. They can't be consistent because they're not committed to just making seeds. Okay? They're not. They're, they'll they'll want to do clothing lines. They'll want to grow weed. They'll want to fucking go fishing. They want to do all these other things and forget to be consistent on their main project. So they spread themselves too thin. They don't hire the right people. They got fucking idiots working for them. And this is what happens. My workers will physically get abused if they fuck up. I'm not the guy, bro. I'll walk in and throw motherfuckers against the wall and slap the shit out of them. That's real shit. That's real shit. I don't fucking go. I don't have HR up my ass, bro. My name ain't on shit. I'll run through and slap the shit out of a motherfucker and they could fucking do what? They do nothing. <laughs> they do nothing. You know what I'm saying? I run business differently. As you see. As you see. Where the fuck is so high? You know what I'm saying? How stable can your seeds be if you do weekly drops? More stable than anybody else's, bro. Just because I'm on a better schedule breeding a lot more plants at a faster rate does not mean anything about stable genetics, bro. Okay? Please do your research. I know that might be an honest question and you may wonder that. But please look into it. It's very simple, bro. You know what I mean? I'm running 16, 17 different breeding fucking tents at a time. Okay? So I could do things other breeders can't with one tent or one room. They're going to take four years to do four drops. You know what I mean? Or fucking they could do four drops a year from one tent. Where I could do 16 drops in 56 days. See what I'm saying? I could do 16 drops in 56 days. That does not affect the genetic potential of any of my varieties ever, ever. How would that affect the genetics of the fucking plants that I use? It would never affect the genetics of the plants, bro. We're all working with polyhybrids. You see all these guys still working with Gary Payton, runs, cookies, and, and fucking gelatos. So it doesn't matter. Their genetics are not superior to my genetics. We're working with the same fucking cuts. If anything, my genetics are more superior because I ran them more than they did. I in them more than they did by doing more lines 
getting the seedlings from those lines, growing the seedlings, then making new lines and then growing those and then making new lines and then taking the best pheno of my own creation and making it into a S1 to lock in the genetic potential in a S1 seed form. None of these guys do that. They're selling you F1s and R1s and putting fancy names on it. That's it. Those are R1s. They don't even take their R1 and then pheno hunt it and then bring it to you in S1 form. All these R1s right here will be hunted, whichever ones I choose to hunt. And then I'll bring S1s out of these R1s. I put in way more work, way more work than any other breeder. My shit's right on the table. Where's theirs? Like you gotta, you gotta stop riding dick and stop actually understanding the work I put in, dog. This ain't no fucking joke. This ain't no game. This ain't no shit I just started doing. This is real shit, dog. I put in more work than any other breeder does. That's the bottom line. You could hate the name or not. You could hate copycat. Go ahead. I don't like the name either. But the thing is, I put in more work. The work speaks for itself. Without me putting in the work, we wouldn't have the best fucking varieties day after day. That's in a bag, bro. That's in a bag. Fully seeded. Fire as fuck. You want to go through fucking more? Here we go. Here's 4-1. What does 4-1 look? Look at that. You ain't getting better, bro. All right? Those are what? Purpley? We got something green? Here's 5-10. Mad foxtails. Total different flavors. What's this one? You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Those seeds are hemp. Oh, my God. Wake the fuck up, dude. Wake up. All right? Wake up. I get it. Your fucking boy down the block would show hemp seeds. See the difference? See these seeds compared to those seeds? Okay, what do you think? I got a whole bunch of fucking different hemp strains that I breed. Look at those seeds. Look at those. Then look at those. Then look at those. Then look at those. Then look at those. Look at those. Look at those. We could do this all day, bro. I don't mind the criticism and I don't mind answering questions, okay? But if you're completely fucking dumb and clueless to what's going on and think I got time to just fucking make up bullshit stories like I care, I don't. I don't. Like I said, I don't have to ever fucking do any of this shit ever again. My money, I made enough money for three generations of wealth, bro. I invested in a ton of real estate. I invested into fucking multiple different avenues of businesses. I don't need to fucking do anything with cannabis. I don't even smoke pot anymore. You see it. So I could give a fuck. I do it because I love cannabis. I love it. I have since I was 12. So I keep it moving. That's what I do. I don't know. You know what I mean? That's what I do. I don't have to do this shit. There's no need for me to fucking do this shit. I'll tell you one thing as a fact, though. Ain't no other breather going to show up and fucking show you a tenth of what's just on this table. Ain't no other breeder going to show up and even just show you one tenth of what's on this table. That's real shit, dog. And you know it is. Now, if you want to say they're all fucking hemp seeds, as if I don't get the fucking strains right here staring you in the face, okay, then you're just naive and you're just stupid. You know, it is what it is. Like, a lot of people will hate and always just think that they know better and that copycat is some type of fucking scamming dickhead that robs people. I get it. If I was that person, I wouldn't be in the game for this long, bro. I would not be in the game 31 years if I even robbed one person. I wouldn't. I'd be fucking barred. I'd be barred. No one would ever look at me, dog. You know, and you think also that I would have the time. 
I don't even have the time to be showing you motherfuckers this shit. I just felt like it's been long enough and I should probably, it's Sunday, you know, I got fucking family dinner at like three o'clock. So I figured I had a fucking few minutes to kill while I inspected shit and seen what's coming up this week. Because honestly, I got to bring some of these varieties home so I could take pictures of them. Okay. And that's really what I'm doing. I'm really just looking at what I'm going to fucking use for photography of the new uh, S1s that are coming out. You know what I mean? And as you see, it ain't hard to find good photography specimens. Uh, specimens. The shit is all fire, bro. It is what it is. You can't fuck with it. You know? And I, I get it, dog. I get it. Copycat's a dick. He fucks your girlfriend. I get it. But at the end of the day, show me a breeder that fucking works harder. Show me a breeder that's got more fire. Seeded buds look fully seeded of the best weed on the planet. You niggas can't fuck with it. You niggas can't fuck with it. And that that's one. Like we could go down the list, dog. Everything, every single package is different weed, obviously. Look at that shit. Look at that shit. Look at this one. What's this one? I like the way this one looks. Look at that one. You can't fuck with it. You can't fuck with it, dog. And I get it, dog. You niggas be hating. But that don't stop my schedule. You niggas could hate all you want. The fire is right here. The fire is right here. It ain't ever gonna stop, bro. You niggas ain't never gonna be able to fuck with it. It is what it is. You know? <clears throat> it is what it is. If you got any more questions, type them in the chat. So high in the building. So high. You want to fucking jump in or what? Or are you scared to death? But yeah, at the end of the day, you niggas cannot fuck with this shit. We got a special, we got a special fucking Big Dan release. So high got the exclusive. All right. Until it gets listed on the site, he's going to be the only place where you got it. Um, regular seeds, super fire, new drop. I'll make a post of what varieties. It'll be in my story when I get off alive. He's got a few hundred packs over there. They're going to sell out pretty much immediately. You heard? Pretty much immediately. But yeah. You can't fuck with it. This is legit a week of fucking lines, bro. A week. You see me do this. You see me do it time and time and time again. This ain't no fucking bullshit. This is right here, dog. It's right here. This shit don't stop. This ain't no fucking... Shit these other niggas be doing, faking the funk or whatever the fuck they be doing. And then wait, this is like, this is live and shit looks like shit. Wait until you see the photos I do of this strain right here. Look at that. Wait until you see the fucking proper photography of this shit. Next level shit, you heard? Look at these. I can, I can pick them up one after one, bro. You can't fuck with it. You can't fuck with it, dog. What's this one? Look at this one. Black leaves, you heard? Shout out to the blacks, you heard? What's this one? And yeah, this is for the idiot that said they're all fucking fake. <laughs> all right, so let's let's go over the seed quality again. 
All right. As you see, this is what? Seven, eight, right? So that means tent number seven, plant number eight. That's those seeds. Tent number seven, plant number seven. That's those seeds. See how these seeds do not look like these seeds. See the fucking difference? And then look. Plant number five, tent number seven. Look at those seeds. Okay. See how fucking easy this is? And I mean, this is obvious shit, but maybe you niggas are fucking not spot, smart enough to figure this shit out. Plant number 10, tent number 7. Look at those seeds. Look at those seeds. See the fucking difference? Open your fucking eyes. 7, 9. Look at those. All right, look at those. All super dark, mad tiger stripes. But then look at 9-5, right? Light seeds. All right, not the white shitty ones. I'm just talking about the good seeds. They're lighter. See, those are all tiger striped, but they're lighter. Look totally different. The looks of the seeds does not mean anything. The seeds is just the shell to fucking contain the genetic potential that the plant will bring. So it doesn't matter if they're fucking dark, light. Fucking whatever fucking color, tiger stripe, no stripes, it doesn't matter. The stripes actually rub off, okay? So if you put these things in a separator, they'll rub them off. You could tell all, all these are hand separated. That's why they contain more of the tiger stripes than seeds that'll run around through the fucking machines and get all fucked up. And that's real shit. Every single thing on here is obviously different seeds. Every single fucking bud on the table is obviously different fucking buds. It's as simple as that. Sorry, I'm taking a few puffs. <clears throat> but yeah. Look at that fucking purpley motherfucker. What else we got? Let me see this one. Look at that one. Look at that motherfucker. Look at that motherfucker, bro. I'm trying to tell you, dog. Pure golf balls. Look. With the stick and then the golf ball and then the stick and the golf ball going all the way down. Look at the fucking frost on those, bro. You ain't getting fucking better strains, bro. I'm telling you. At the end of the day, nobody does it like me. I made it that way. I built it that way. All right? I'm the one that puts in all the work. I'm the one that fucking set up all these motherfucking tents and fucking stay on a schedule that nobody could fuck with. I'm the one doing it. Not nobody, not C Junkie. You see C Junkie with the little paintbrush painting a fucking branch over here doing fucking 100 pack drop. 100 pack? What the fuck is 100 packs, nigga? 100 packs is this little corner. How, how a fucking, how your favorite breeder make that many seeds, nigga? How? Count the fucking thing. That's a hundred pack right there, dog. Look, I've just one bag. I put one bag to the side. There's a fucking 10,000 packs of seeds. Are you fucking crazy? What are you out of your fucking mind? We ain't playing no games. You wonder why copy don't sell out? This is why I don't sell out, dog. I told you, you're never going to sell all those, especially one strain. 10,000 packs, one strain. Look at how many fucking strains we got just on the table. That's a week of drops. That's a week of drops. You niggas ain't never going to fuck with it. You're never going to fuck with it, dog. That's just how it is. I built it this way, dog. I stay consistent for fucking decades putting out the work. The work speaks for itself. We're on the cover of high times every other fucking day, dog. All right? You know how many cannabis cups we won with people fucking growing our seeds and renaming the shit? How about, how about Green Dragon, right? Fucking wins the, wins the cup with Fun Fatty Cake and calls it Fun Fatty. How about that? How about them motherfuckers winning cups... And renaming it. Or the Rainbow Runts won fucking third place. They didn't show copy no love. All these motherfuckers are fucking dying for the new shit, dog. They're all in my fucking pocket. You already know it, dog. You guys gotta open your fucking eyes. You guys gotta fucking open your motherfucking eyes, you heard? And I'm telling you, dog. I had a long talk with So High already, yo. Prices are gonna stop going up, dog. Straight up. I ain't fucking around. 
I ain't fucking around. All that shit, fifty dollar this that nah, nigga. That shit's all gonna be dead. Trust me, dog. You better go fucking. You better go blow so high right now and get buy all his packs. Cause when he reads up, all them shits are going up. All them shits. Those big damn boxes. Forget about it. Forget about it. I'm telling you, I'm gonna stop sending them. That's how it is. Got to stop sending the motherfuckers because you 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 motherfuckers out here that are fucking uh, taking advantage of motherfuckers trying to get free shit, showing a fucking mail from your fucking buddy's grow room, trying to get free packs, all this shit. That shit's all dead, dog. I put in the work. I know what my shit is. I grow all my own seeds. How do you think I make the new creations? How do you think I make them? What do you think? There's this many fucking clone onlys in the game that I robbed from people? What are you, fucking nuts? I told you a million times, the clone onlys don't sell half as good as my original shit, dog. It don't. It don't. I'll be fucking honest with you. Nobody cares about Gary Payton, bro. It's 2022. They want Dr. Sleep. They want Hawaiian runts. They want the new fire, bro. They want the new fire. They don't want no old ass Gary Payton. We already been crossed that. Chris crossed it up and down, fucking down the block, dog. And absolutely, yesterday's price is not today's price. Shout out to the motherfucking crew, you heard? It is what it is, so you guys better fucking take advantage, because I'm telling you right now, that shit, that, those days are going to be long gone, bro. I don't need it. I don't need the fucking headache. I don't need the fucking money, dog. I don't need it. And I could give a fuck. You already know. I'm sitting there getting blown in fucking $30,000 hotels, riding in a Maybach, fucking taking helicopters. You motherfuckers think I give a fuck. I'm the wrong nigga, dog. I told you motherfuckers from the beginning, dog. I'm the wrong nigga to ever make this type of money, you heard? Straight from the fucking hard streets of motherfucking Providence. 4-1 Smoke, stand up. Let them know. Let them know how hard the streets are in Providence, you heard? <clears throat> but yeah, all fucking fire up in this motherfucker, you heard? All fire, day after day, bro. We don't stop. I get it, you know what I mean? I get it. The people you follow and shit, they be hiding and they be not showing anything and they be fucking like living off of fucking some other niggas hype or whatever the fuck they be doing. They ain't doing this. When was it? When, show me one motherfucking nigga that fucking bust out all their work right here and this is a week. This is a week. You motherfuckers acting like this is something. This is nothing. And to the people that follow me knows this ain't nothing. You see me do this a million times. This ain't shit, dog. This is a fucking seven-day period, eight-day period, bro. Nobody gives a fuck. I could give a fuck. It's, uh, but I ain't going to sit there and have niggas tell me I don't put in the work or I'm just some motherfucker making S1s and all he does is this and that. Nah, nigga, I put in more motherfucking work than any other motherfucker in the game. Why? Because I'm the one motherfucking doing it. I'm the one doing it. So I ain't going to have any of you niggas who go run your mouth, act like you motherfuckers know better than me, dog. Put your money where your mouth is. Put your money where your mouth is, all right? Riot seeds. Put your money where your mouth is, motherfucker. Ivan from the Jungle Boys. Put your money where your mouth is. All right? Burner. Fucking Canarado. Fucking Ethos. Put your money where your mouth is. Show me your work, nigga. Show me your work, jump on the live, let me see your work. I ain't gonna talk about you little niggas out there, you little motherfuckers, you niggas can't phase me, you already know that. You already know, your whole fucking re-up, your whole re-up is right there. Get the fuck out of here, your whole fucking tent, you guys don't even know how to make fucking seeds. You're sitting out of there breaking up a bud, you got one seed in it. You got one seed in it. Alright, Fino addicts, you other fucking idiots, Tiki. I ain't fucking with you idiots, you guys built your fucking brand on fucking copycat seeds ten years ago. You're fucking still working candy rain from my fucking seed stock. You guys are laughable. I'm talking about the biggest names in the game, seed junkie. Put your money where your mouth is, bro. Put your fucking money where your mouth is. Show me the fucking table. Go in your fucking spot like I'm in my spot and show me the fucking table, dog. Put it on the table, dog. What's so hard about this? I don't get it. I don't fucking understand what is so difficult to fucking put it on the fucking table, dog. Why motherfuckers gonna make it an issue? You niggas don't do it like me. That's why you stay hiding and doing a fucking hundred pack seed drop. You show your little line around the building. It's 40 fucking people, dog. It's 40 people. 
right? 40 people buying shit with five of their friends dick riding next to them. No one's even spending money. What the fuck? I do a drop. I got fucking 500 sales in the first hour. What are you fucking out of your mind? I don't need a line. What are you crazy? What the fuck I need a line for? It's the internet, nigga. Them niggas are lined the fuck up on the email list. You already know it. You heard? You got so high over there doing a thousand packs a fucking week. All right? Hooking you motherfuckers up. And then you motherfuckers out there trying to get over on a nigga left and right, dog. I told him. I told him already. Stop giving these kids shit, nigga. Stop giving them motherfucking anything. Why? Because you sent a picture of your buddy's male plant. You want free packs? Why would you even want free packs? If you had such a bad experience with copying my shit's boof, why you want more, nigga? Don't take them. Don't take them, nigga. Don't take them. All right? You took a big L, you take the L on the chin, right? And and tell me to go fuck myself. You know why you want more free packs, nigga? If the shit's so boof, why you want more free packs? If my shit's all hemp seeds, right? And all this shit is hemp right here, and this shit's all garbage. Why you niggas want it? Why you motherfuckers want it? That's the real shit, nigga. So don't get me fucking started with you fucking little bitch ass motherfuckers, riot seeds. You got riot seeds over there fucking running his mouth about the origination of fucking Kush. As if anybody gives a fuck about Kush. Who the fuck cares about OG Kush, nigga? The Josh D cut, nigga. We did Josh D S once back in fucking 2009. Nobody cares about that shit. You niggas are grown backyard boof. And you're over here running your fucking mouth as if somebody cares. You de- you make posts saying make sure you join the live at 5 o'clock, 7 p.m. shop to discuss about fucking backyard weed. Who cares? Where the fuck you think you're doing anything? You're doing a fucking live about backyard weed as if somebody cares where it came from. Do I really got to fucking come over here and fucking show you fire time and time again? Do I really got to fucking slap this in your fucking face and let you know that your shit is fucking boof? Like, I pick up any fucking strain, dog. I pick them up left and right. I pick them up left and right. Your shit is boof. You can't compare to it, dog. You cannot compare to it. It's been that way. This ain't new, dog. This ain't new. I'm sick of motherfuckers thinking this is something brand new, dog. I've been here running my mouth for fucking years. Where the fuck do you think this is brand new? What, you want green? There's your green. There's your green. No purple. That's for, you, that's for you motherfuckers that want green, you heard? Show me your shit. And this is all full of seeds, dog. You already know. Look at the seeds popping out. This is all seeds, dog. So when you grow, it's going to look 20 times better without the fucking seeds, dog. Fed proper nutrients. This is fed high nitrogen, dog. No PK boosters at all. None. You niggas can't fuck with it, dog. You niggas can't fuck with it. You niggas can't fuck with it. You know, we've been doing this. I, I don't understand why motherfuckers even try. Do I got a Dr. Sleep Cross in here? Dr. Sleep, you heard? Right there. You can't fuck with it. I got doctor sleep in like every fucking tent, you heard? So I knew I had a doctor sleep cross right here. Right there, full of seeds, doctor sleep in the building. Fuck out of here. It ain't nothing new, dog. It ain't nothing new. It ain't nothing new, man. Listen, motherfuckers want to think it's new. Motherfuckers want to want to pretend like I'm brand new. All he does is us once. I got fucking more crosses on the fucking table than you motherfuckers are ever going to put out ever in your life. It's just the way it is, dog. So stop, stop pretending. And I get it. I get it. You little motherfuckers out there, you guys are striving to be like me. And I see you motherfuckers trying to show your little buds and, and you break it up and it's got two seeds in it. And you're fucking using collodial silver. You niggas all got to step your game up, dog. Those Colladio Silver days are long gone. Learn about hormones. Learn how to make seeds. Learn how to feed your plants so you get a proper amount of seeds, dog. What the fuck are you guys doing? You're breaking up a fucking bud, whether it's fire or not. You got two seeds come out of it. I break up one of these buds, dog. Forget about it. I got 10 packs. Fucking 10 packs dumping out of this motherfucker. 
Because I ain't new. You got to remember, I started this shit, nigga. I started this shit. Not nobody else, dog. Not nobody else. Ain't nobody else stopped this shit. I started this shit. I was the first one to do form cookies S1, dog. First one. Not you niggas. I was, I'm the one that gets all the hate for the S1s. Now you niggas want to run a, run around town making fucking S1s and doing this and that and biting my shit. You niggas are all fucking peons. You niggas never be like me. I started this shit. I run this shit. My consistency and my fucking commitment and the results you get runs this shit. It's solidified. What I say is written in motherfucking stone. Nobody does it better than me, dog. Why? Because I make sure I keep my foot on your motherfucker's neck. You niggas can't do it like me. You niggas can't. I won't allow you to. I will not allow you motherfuckers to ever come close to what I'm doing. All right? You niggas go set up 16 tents right now. No problem. I'll set up 32 and put you out of business. That's how it is. You niggas haven't networked as long as I have. You niggas don't have the connects I have. Your money isn't as long as my money. So I will fucking put you out of business Anytime there would ever be any type of competition, you niggas will get shut down. And if I had to take it to a street level, I'd have you niggas sitting in the back of the trunk. You niggas already know it, dog. You post my criminal shit. You know I'm the motherfucker that puts people in the trunk. You know I am. So it is what it is, dog. It is what it is. You niggas will never come close. And it's got to be that way because I'm committed. I'm committed, you heard? And consistent. And that's why it is what it is, you heard? It is what it is, and you niggas ain't never gonna be able to fuck with it. Now, you want the fire, you know where to get it. The people that signed up for the email list, you got the fucking email list. To the rest of you motherfuckers, you hit up fucking so high and get it, take advantage before those fucking prices go up, you heard? Because I'm telling you right now, I already had a long talk with them, and this shit ain't gonna be flying, you heard? It ain't gonna be flying. It ain't going to be flying, you heard? Who said old talk, nigga? You already know. You already know old talk, nigga. You niggas can't fuck with me, dog. My money too long. I'll have your whole fucking family fucking disappear, you heard? I'll bu- Listen, I'll buy the house you live in and have you evicted. Shut the fuck up. You already know that. I'll become your landlord and have you living on the fucking streets. <laughs> you fuck, fuck out of here with that shit. But listen... I got to get the fuck out of here. It's Sunday. I got shit to do. All right. I got to get home. I got to sit by the pool. I'll do a live later. I'm going to make a post of what the new Big Dan drop is. And so high has it in the building. He's got about 200 packs. They're going to go fucking by the end of the night. His orders go out Monday morning. So you already know. Get on the fucking list. Tell him you want 5, 10 of the fucking new drop before I even post what it is. All right. I'm telling you right now, get over there because that's the only spot you're going to fucking get them. All right, until they go on the site, and that ain't going to be until the middle of the week on my end. You heard? I, I got all the copycat shit to deal with. We we backed up like a motherfucker. You already know it. All right, other than that, the box sets are available. Everything's available. Run to the fucking site. Sign up for the email list. You get the info. I'm not spilling the info. You heard? I don't come on here to spill info. You want the fucking info or the new drops, sales, whatever? You sign up for the fucking email list. That's it. I ain't got to fucking tell you. I ain't got to tell you. Other than that, all love to everybody. Everybody have a great day. Ghost, I see you. Tri-City, I see you. 401 Smokes, I see you. Fucking, you know so high, I see you, you punk-ass motherfucker. All right? All love, everybody. Have a great day, and I'll catch you for the Daily Dose probably around 5 o'clock. All love. Peace.